When the Fujian ship's electromagnetic catapult catapulted the KJ 600 AWACS into the air, was the last shortcoming of China's aircraft carrier battle group made up. Since its maiden voyage in May 2023, the 80,000 ton ship has accumulated more than 100 days of real world testing in seven sea trials, and the eighth sea trial on May 21 will focus on testing the KJ 600 on board marking a qualitative leap in China's carrier combat capability. The combination of carrier aircraft deployed on the deck of Fujian ship reveals the core structure of the future combat system, three J-15T heavy fighters, mounted with Thunderbolt 15 long-range air-to-air missiles are occupying the front parking area in a triangular formation, and their 35mm deflecting axle mounts are designed to allow them to withstand an 8G overload at the moment of catapulting. Two J-35 stealth fighters stationed in the middle deck with folded wings are coated with diamond-shaped wave-absorbing coatings, and their built-in bomb bays can accommodate up to four bombs with a range of up to 5,000 meters. The two folded wing J-35 stealth fighters stationed on the middle deck have diamond-shaped wave-absorbing coatings, and their built-in bomb bay can accommodate four YJ-21 hypersonic anti-ship missiles with a range of up to 300 kilometers, the most eye-catching KJ-600 AWACS aircraft has a wingspan of 24.6 meters, and its 8.5-meter diameter rotating radome at the back of the aircraft integrates 576 UHF band transceivers, which, along with the quantum communication array in the belly of the aircraft, can maintain the three-dimensional monitoring network of a diameter of 1,600 kilometers in the complex electromagnetic environment. The core challenge of this sea trial is to verify the 38-ton KJ-600's catapult adaptability compared to the 33-ton maximum ejection weight of the USE-2 DOX. The KJ-600 needs the electromagnetic catapult system to accelerate it to a speed of 270 km hour away from the ship within a 98-meter track length, which puts the medium-voltage DC integrated electric power system of the Fujian ship to the ultimate test. Inside the ejection control room, the touch screen in front of the operator shows the energy distribution curve in real time. When the energy storage flywheel group releases 78 megajoules of energy, the linear motor of the NO. 2 ejection track adjusts the electromagnetic thrust at a frequency of 1,200 times per second to ensure that the AWACS lifts up smoothly under 5.8 G acceleration. Below deck in the three deep powerhouse, 36 carbon fiber flywheels store energy at an extreme speed of 6,000 revolutions per minute, and its magnetic levitation bearing technology reduces mechanical loss to 0.15%, so that the whole system can be rapidly recharged in 45 seconds between two ejections. The technological breakthroughs in the shipboard aircraft operation system are not limited to the catapulting process. The Fujian ship's double-deck hangar adopts modularized slide design, and its 7-2M height allows it to accommodate 24 J-15Ts and 12 j 35 as for parallel preparation at the same time. The 128 positioning sensors of the intelligent dispatch system can track the status of each fighter aircraft in real time, and together with the 12 tethering points at the edge of the deck, it realizes the completion of the full deck carrier aircraft strike readiness within 15 minutes. In the maintenance bay at the rear of the hangar, six laser-selective melting 3D printers are on-site manufacturing titanium alloy wing rib components for the J-35, an aerospace-originated technology that has shortened the supply cycle for critical spare parts from 45 days to 72 hours. The upgrading of the electronic warfare system is also remarkable. The KG-800 pods mounted on the 4J-15D electronic warfare planes can emit 0.318 GHz full-band jamming waves, and their directional microwave pulses can burn through the gallium arsenide guides of anti-ship missiles at a distance of 50 kilometers, which has successfully made the simulated incoming harpoon missiles yaw and crash into the sea in a recent confrontation exercise. The reliability of the electromagnetic catapult system has realized a qualitative leap after seven sea trials. Compared to the U.S. aircraft carrier, Ford, in 2017 sea trial phase of the average of every 240 times, the ejection of a failure record, Fujian ship in the seventh sea trial record 48 hours, 432 times the ejection of the zero failure achievement, the probability of failure interval optimization to 1 450th. This breakthrough comes from the research and development of Academician Ma Wuming's team of medium voltage DC power supply architecture. Compared to the Ford, the Fujian ship in the seventh sea trial, the success of 48 hours, 432 times the ejection of zero failure, and optimized the probability of failure interval to 1 450th. Compared to the AC power supply used by the Ford, 
The DC system's power conversion efficiency has been improved by 23%, and instantaneous power fluctuations have been controlled within plus or minus 1.5%. In the recent exposure of the deck monitoring screen, electromagnetic blocking cable of the supercapacitor group functioned to recover 90% of the kinetic energy of the landing aircraft. These electrical energy can be directly used for the shipboard laser defense system. To achieve the closed loop utilization of energy, the innovation of the combat system makes the deterrence radius of the battle group of Fujian ships expand geometrically after the KJ 600 lifts off. Its digital array radar's detection range of stealthy targets exceeds 650 kilometers. And together with the coordinated engagement system, it can simultaneously guide. 24 Red Flag 19B ship air missiles with a range of 400 kilometers to carry out a layered interception. The Pentagon simulation shows that the Fujian ship, equipped with a full fleet of carrier aircraft, can fly up to 120 sorties per day, although there is still a gap compared to the Nimitz class limit of 150 sorties, but by virtue of the J 35's stealthy sudden defense capability and the YJ 21's Mach 6 terminal speed, it has already formed an asymmetric advantage in area denial operations. What is of greater concern to the strategic community is the synergy between the Fujian ship and the rocket force. In a recent joint exercise, the KJ-600 successfully provided terminal target correction for the DF-26B ballistic missile, narrowing the strike circle probability error from 15 meters to within 3 meters. The current sea trial is the ultimate test of the ship's electromagnetic compatibility. In the strong electromagnetic interference simulation environment, Fujian ship's 346B phased array radar and electronic warfare system showed amazing synergy when the intensity of the enemy's electromagnetic pulse reaches 200 kilovolts m. The ship's active denial system immediately starts the frequency shortcut and rebuilds the communication link within 0.8 seconds. The augmented reality landing system introduced in the night landing training projects a three-dimensional landing channel through 32 groups of laser emitters on the edge of the deck, and the pilot's helmet display shows the wind speed compensation parameters in real time, which improves the success rate of landing under complex meteorological conditions to 99.7%. In terms of damage control capability, 5,000 fiber optic sensors throughout the ship constitute an intelligent monitoring network together with nano-self-repairing materials, which can start molecular-level structural reorganization at the moment of hull breakage, and this technology makes the anti-submergence of the Shandong ship 300% more resistant to sinking. With the sea trial into the depth of synthetic exercises, Fujian ship began to show systematic combat sharp. In the recent inter-service joint combat exercise, KJ-600, simultaneously commanded the underwater attack nuclear submarine to lay an intelligent mine array, the group of frigates to launch YJ-180 anti-ship missiles, and the shore-based forces to implement electromagnetic spectrum suppression. The quantum communication system synchronizes the battlefield posture among the nodes at a rate of 2 million bits per second, compressing the OOD a cycle time to 2.8 seconds which is 17 times more efficient than the traditional data chain. When the simulated enemy ship formation enters the 1000 km strike range, the J-35 fleet takes the lead in launching the electromagnetic silent raid, launching the YJ-21 400 km away from the target. When the DF-17 hypersonic missiles of the rocket force arrive synchronously, forming a multi-dimensional saturation attack, this time-sensitive strike capability marks the Chinese carrier battle group formally stepped into the decision center war era. In the test sea area of 400 nautical miles east of the mouth of the Yangtze River, Fujian ship is slicing through the dark blue waves at a speed of 28 knots. Below deck, the sonar array captures the unique seven-bladed large side sloping propeller sound pattern of the 093B nuclear submarine. The integrated radio frequency system on the top of the ship's island continuously scans the 360-degree airspace, and the most eye-catching is still the KJ-600 that rises up to the sky under the propulsion of the electromagnetic catapult, when its radar beam covers the Western Pacific Ocean for the first time, in the ship mode coverage of the Western Pacific Ocean, not only means that China's aircraft carriers finally get the air command post, but also heralded the Fujian ship, as the fulcrum of the sea, air and sky as one combat network formally organized. Behind this steel giant, Dalian Shipyard Dry Dock. The new nuclear-powered aircraft carrier segments are being put together, Fujian ship to verify every technology for the subsequent ship to lay a more solid deck. When the closing alarm for the 8th sea trial sounded, the first glimmer of the three-carrier era of the Chinese Navy had emerged on the sea level of the East China Sea.